Hi guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Now we're looking at two very cool Tops items, uh, vintage items. This one's from 1988 and this one's from 1993. Uh, we're really excited to have these on the channel. You may remember recently uh, we had a video entitled uh, Jurassic Park Fan Must Haves. I'll put a link to that video down below. Um, but we got loads of free merchandise sent over to us from Bad Lizards. And um, one of the things they sent over was a vintage Tops card. Now, I had trouble identifying which Tops series it was from, but one of our loyal viewers, Jurassiraptor, very kindly pointed out in the comments that it was from the Dinosaurs Attack series. And just by pure luck, um, I happened to have picked up a set as a freebie that came with this. So, isn't that great? We can take a closer look at the Dinosaurs Attack series of Tops cards and, uh, and then we'll take a look at this special piece right here. So let's start off with the Dinosaurs Attack pack here. It's a nice wax pack uh, all the way from 1988. You can see the Topps old school logo there. You can see you've got a, a man being eaten alive by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So uh, he's not having a good day. And this would have cost 25 cents. Um, so it looks like it was um, a US only uh, set of collector's cards. And you can see here, it's got this wonderful bright logo, Dinosaurs Attack. Comes with five cards, one sticker, and one stick of bubble gum. Before you ask, I'm not going to be eating the bubble gum, um, just so you know. Uh, let's have a look. What have we got here? 1988, the Topps Company, and the little barcode as well. Okay, so let's break this open. This is quite interesting. A vintage pack. And I love the way it's in this old school wax packet. Um, we in the UK, uh, when the Jurassic Park Tops cards came out, we got the little um, foil uh, packets. We didn't get these paper fold out packets, but I really like these. I like the vintage feel of these. Okay, cool. So let's see which cards we got. So first off, we've got a sticker. And I'll just uh, focus in so you can get a closer look. And this is a Dimatrodon sticker. Really nice. I'm not sure if that Dimatrodon is to scale, but it looks awesome anyway. Look at that color. Beautiful. Let's see if it's got anything on the back. The truth about Dimatrodon. So if you want to read that information, give that a little pause. Okay, next one. We've got uh, Rock Concert Carnage. And you can see there's dinosaurs there tearing people to pieces. It's quite gory. Um, Although these look like herbivores, so uh, they've obviously decided to turn into meat eaters for the day. Let's see if it's got any information on the back. Oh, it was crazy, man. Some dinosaur jumps on the stage and starts tearing my hair out. <laughs> Pretty cool. So it looks like these were quite sort of uh, pop culture oriented, mixed with dinosaurs. I like it. Pretty cool. Okay, let's have a look what's our next one. So here you can see this Tyrannosaurus Rex or Godzilla-like creature chewing on a train and there's people falling out and someone has unfortunately fallen out and <laughs> got electrocuted on the train line. Love that attention to detail. Um, unfortunate for this little poor guy down here. Let's see what we got on the back. Oh, and like the last one that we got from Bad Lizards, you can see it's got a fake news article. You can pause that if you want to have a read. Really cool. So here you can see Wrestling Riot and you've got how many men have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six men wrestling what seems to be like a herbivore again. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah you can see it's got his tail wrapped around this guy's neck. And the referee's like well how am I going to judge this one? Six versus one isn't fair is it? Let's have a look on the back. We've got another classic picture. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. <laughs> it's a battle royale that defies all reason. Six superstar wrestlers versus one prehistoric beast. <laughs> Great. Let's see what we got next here. Lunch break. Okay, so we've got some Parasaurolophus uh, tucking into a bus, even though, again, they were herbivores. Um, they definitely wouldn't have eaten children, and they're also very oversized. But uh, I like the imaginative element to this picture. It's nicely painted, actually. All of this artwork is very nicely done. 
and on the back we've got the news article there so if you want to have a little read and uh, pause oh my goodness me sorry guys if anyone's eating their dinner did not mean for it to be this gory gosh look at that so there's a man who's been stamped on by a dinosaur deary me and on the back here oh there's a little US Army document here to explain what's going on again pause if you want to read so there we have it how many cards have we got there we got five cards and we've got the sticker and actually we've got the gum in here as well just focus there we go you can see we've got the stick of gum and obviously because it's been in there for years and years it's uh, it's gone rock solid and it's broken and shattered and actually it's left a yellow mark on the inside of that wax packet delicious so uh, there we go that's the Dinosaur Attack Tops card series I hope that brings back some memories for some of you if you collected this set it's quite a quirky little set and um, quite a change from the traditional Jurassic Park Tops cards okay so moving on the main thing we're looking at today is this now this is going to be you know part of the pride of my collection I did burn my finger earlier on today that's why I've got the plaster on if you're wondering so let's get this guy out of its precious sleeve now straight away you should be able to see that this is a tops card but it's not any ordinary tops card no this is Laura Dern it's the gold series and it's signed by Laura Dern herself look at that now this comes from an online shop called MacGuffins I'll put a link to their eBay store down below um, but yeah this is fantastic look at that Laura Dern and that's gonna sit pride of place in my tops Jurassic Park card sleeve um, it's just gonna look great in the binder and it's gonna make a nice addition to that collection along with my 75th anniversary uh, tops card that I recently reviewed I'll put a link to that 75th anniversary one down below if you want to see that and here's the little read up on the back again pause if you want to read the blurb really nice and it comes with this nice little certificate of authenticity and MacGuffin sell a lot of merchandise that's uh, been signed and authenticated so um, this is really nice to own and add to the collection so there we have it guys I hope you enjoyed the look today at Dinosaurs Attack uh, the Topps card series from 1988 and a Jurassic Park vintage card signed by Laura Dern herself isn't that great okay guys uh, rate comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.